raining a lot, isn't it? It's very rainy. Shall we just keep driving and get lots of miles done? The Baltics has been somewhat Baltic and um, wet, wet. Okay, just crossing the border into uh, Latvia and the uh, sun is shining. The vehicle allowed us to go to places in order to camp that we wouldn't have been able to do if we'd been in a normal car. There were a few moments that we were really thankful for the Land Rover because it was a very bumpy road. I think you don't come down here very often to be honest. A bit of manoeuvring in a few difficult woodland situations but it was a real blessing. It does seem as though the car is designed with the family in mind. From charging modern appliances to having the space to sleep in it to being able to reconfigure the seats to get seven people in it. It's got all those capabilities and yeah we were really impressed. Stunning old French town. Very much felt like we were on the home straight now and we decided to end in style by going and visiting the Moon Champagne Chateau in Reims. I think there were a lot of people that rolled their eyes and slightly thought these guys don't really know what they're letting themselves in for and that annoyed me and I, I really wanted to show that you can go on an adventure with a little baby. It was definitely a trip to help inspire other people and sort of prove that a baby isn't a restriction, it's an, an amazing additive to life. So here is the uh, Chateau Mum. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How cool was that? I'm going to have champagne to take home. <laughs>the amount of time that he spent with you and I was the reason why he positively changed so much over the course of the trip so I think his first adventure was a really really positive thing for him as well yeah. and I want him to know that you can do anything if you just put the time and thought into figuring out how you're going to achieve it